uh, got some time outside, if that's your jam. Um, and we're going to have a well-rounded, full-body workout um, using different parts of the body to perform our exercises. So while we're going to be focusing in on some body parts specific things. Uh, we're also going to be using other parts to get that work done. We are going to have our cardio boost today. So that's making a guest appearance back into our workout. So at one point with the armbands on and a couple points with the leg bands on, we're going to get our heart rate up. So let's do it. Our intervals are 40 seconds. The only exercise that is not going to be a full body thing is our very first one of the day, and that's our upward wrist curls. So everybody come on up. Get those cycles going, keeping your water close by. I am matching my band stay kind of intentional, also just kind of the way the laundry shook out. Um, all right, give me some shoulder shrugs. Wake everything up. Cool. And let's go ahead and start diving right into the work. Forearms with upward wrist curls. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. And pace today is up to you. I'd recommend slightly slower on the first round and a little bit faster on the second. Starting out a little bit more slowly. Getting those forearms awake, getting our brains awake, getting accustomed to working out. And sometimes I take a day off on Sunday from working out, so Mondays can be a little bit hard, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Awesome. Good. We are half done. Like some movement. I'm looking down at my arms and starting to see veins and whatnot appear. That's the goal. We've got 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. Next set, I would challenge you to move a little bit faster. Upward wrist curls. We're going in. Three. Two, one, 40 seconds. Let's pump it up. Get moving. After this, we have a tricep pike push up. We have not done these in a long time. It's nice to get the core and a little bit of stretching in the legs involved in our push ups. Come on, make those fists, get those arms working. There we go. Now we're moving. Good. And it's been interesting as I've been going throughout my workouts with different people who do not use the bands. Sometimes when they do planks or different positions, they'll complain of like kind of fatigue in their forearms or their wrists. And I oftentimes recommend doing these uh, for those folks. So it's important work to support the rest of our body. Last 10. Keep it moving. Fast. Yeah. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Nice job. Next smallest muscle, we have our triceps. For this exercise, it's been a minute. I'm going to tuck my device in just so it doesn't fall off. That tends to happen to me. We're going to make our way into a pike position. Now, a common flaw in doing this exercise is looking forward. I don't want you to look forward. I want you to tuck your chin, look back between your legs, drop those elbows out to the sides, down and up. The back of my neck stays really long, and I'm not leading with my chin. I'm leading with the very top of my head. So I don't care how many you do. Just do as many as you can. Let's make our way up into pike position. 40 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Drop your gaze between your feet. Let those elbows play out to the side. Getting the top of the head down towards the floor. Nice. Good. And this is a great exercise that we can do with just our body weight because we're using that pike position, the weight of our body, to add that extra challenge, that work, to our triceps. Keep going, gang. Keep going, Instagram and Zoom. We are more than half done. If you can tuck the chin even more back the next day long. Amazing, Kaziah. We have 10 more seconds. Maybe see if you can do four more. Jam a couple more out. Nice, Jeff. Good 
Bonnie. Tuck that chin even more. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone go ahead and drop your knees. You can drop them with wrist circles to release the wrist a bit. And in 10, we're going to make our way up for our second set. So let's start to set up. Step the feet back, coming up into that pike position. Tuck the chin into the chest, drop the gaze, 40 seconds. Time is rolling. Here we go, down and up. And I want you to keep that V shape of the body the whole time. So try not to let the chest or the hips anything dip. Woo, if you got a lot of hair, things are gonna get kind of crazy. That's okay, keep it up, keep going. Guys, nice. we are already half done. See if you can drop a little bit lower into that push-up. Maybe even the top of your head comes to touch the ground. That's fine. Yes, last 10 seconds. See if you can give me four more. Good to see you, Dan. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone press your hips up and back. Pedal out the legs. Walk, walk, walk the hands back to meet the feet and roll on up to stand. For our biceps today, we are doing a two-part bicep curl. So not only targeting the biceps, but also using the muscles of our lats and our traps to help open up. We're gonna curl forward, drop to 90, rotate, side, down, up, down, rotate, up, down, okay? So as you pull your fists back, I want you to get them in line with the shoulders if you can without swaying out the back. So using additional muscles in the body to help us do an external bicep curl. Let's jam, 40 seconds, here we go. Starting out slow, curl. Rotate, curl, back through center. Take it slow, start to really work those muscles of the biceps, making sure that you're getting full external rotation, keeping the core engaged so that it's not this, it's this. Great. And if you wanna make it a smaller range of motion, challenge yourself even more, maybe do 45 degree angles with those curls, keeping the biceps contracted the whole time. Brilliant, half done. Woo, do that squeeze at the top. Awesome. A Monday full body work, last 10. Keep it up, give me five, four, Three, two, and one. Shake it out. This time, if you're feeling good and you want to move faster, go for it. So grab those imaginary dumbbells. Pull the wrist in towards the shoulders, contracting the biceps. 40 seconds. Here we go. Release. Open. Curl. Back to center. Curl. Maybe making those angler, anglers angles smaller and maybe picking up the pace. Great, Woo, there we go. After this, we're going to come down to the floor for some X plank. I know some people like it and some people hate it. Full body work, really getting into those arms, allowing the blood to pool. Awesome, last 15 seconds. Still pulling the wrist out to the sides on that external rotation. Yeah, there we go. Good, last 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, coming back down into plank position. After this, we have these two rounds of this exercise. One more exercise, we're gonna get the heart rate up and then we'll swap out our bands. So for X plank, we come into our plank position. I shift my hips back, tap opposite hand to foot, shift forward, shift back. Get that hand as far down the leg as you can, opening up the back of the body, and then roll forward. 40 seconds in four, three, two. Here we go. Shift, roll through it. Back 
and forward. And as you shift forward, always staying in good form, my shoulders come over my wrist. So there's a stopping point there. I don't want to just kind of shoot my body forward. Keeping good form, always. All right. We have 15 more seconds. Your pace, your choice. The past you move, it's going to be a little bit more challenging on this one. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop the knees. Give the wrist a roll. We've got 20 seconds rest. In about 10, we're going to set up for our second set. Yes. All right. Start to make your way back onto hands and knees. Step your way back into plank. We've got 40 seconds. Second round of X plank in three, two, one. Here we go. If you can pick up the pace and reach a little bit further down the leg, you're having a good day. Nice. Ooh, get that upper body working. Blood is pooling. Whole body is moving to support the arm. Awesome. Half done. Woo, there we go. Last 10. Get those hips up and back. Pressing the base of the knuckles into the mat to push the floor away from you. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop your knees. Give the wrist a roll. If you want a sip of water, grab it now. I'll take one with you. All right. We're going Superman to plank. Position. So for this one, we're going to start down on our belly. We extend the arms and legs in opposite directions. Super human. Lift. Root the hands into the mat. Press up into plank. Keeping your hips in line with your shoulders. So none of this. Drop right back down. Lift. Root the hands down. Come right back up. If you cannot keep your body flat, your back flat doing this, I want you to do it on your knees. That's totally wonderful. Okay? All right. So setting ourselves up on our bellies. 40 seconds. In four, three, two. Here we go. Superhuman. Lift the hands and legs. Root the hands into the mat. Tuck the toes. Push up into plank. Now see if you can challenge yourself. Come down really slowly. Superhuman, lift, tuck those toes, see it just as slowly. You can press yourself all the way back up, keeping your back flat. Awesome, half done, keep going through it. And my challenge to you is see how slow you can go on that lower down and that push back up. We're activating all of our muscles, including our core, to get down to the floor and back up into plank. Amazing, last five seconds, give me one more round. Four, three, two, and one. Everyone come on up to stand. Let's get our heart rate up one time with the armbands on. Then we'll have our question of the day and we'll swap out to leg bands. Our three moves today are jumping jacks. You haven't done these in like a week. Then we have our high knees, then our ankle tap. I think the last one's the hardest one in my opinion. 30 seconds each. Jumping jacks, we're going in three. Oh, we missed the last set. Thank you, George. Thank you, George, very much. Everyone back down on the floor. I appreciate that. I got so excited about moving on that I missed our last round. That was a test. You guys won. You got me. Sorry about that one. All right. Back down into plank. Back down to plank. Back down on the floor. Reach those arms and those legs long. Give me a superhuman. Lift up. 40 seconds. Second set. Thank you for the reminder. Push up slowly in the plank. Come slowly back down. Give me that reach. Ooh, that was special. <laughs> I appreciate the catch. Good job, gang. Keep going. This last set's important. Helps us get into those good muscles to help support our posture. 
Last 15 seconds. Whew. Yes, great job. Give me one more round. Nice pace, Jeff. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we can jump on up for our cardio work. All right. First 30 seconds, we have jumping jacks, high knees, and then ankle taps. Give me jacks, 30 seconds. Here we go. Woo! Getting the whole body moving. Nice. All right, we are half done. These intervals go nice and fast. See if you can pick up the pace. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four. High knees in three, two, and one. High knees running out. Get those arms going. Get those legs going. Woo, quick on the feet. Let's go. Awesome. We run it. Half done. After this, we have ankle taps, opening up those hips in an active way. In eight, seven, faster, six, five, four, three, two, and last 30 seconds. Tap it out. Good. Whew. We're moving. We're breathing. We're burning. We're going to have water and the question of the day after this. Half done. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Yeah. Last 10. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Grab water and swap out your band. The question of the day is, if you can choose one word that you would like to embody the rest of your 2020, what would it be? Or what will it be? One word to embody the rest of this year. And you get to pick. So it can be a positive thing. All right. I'm gonna go ahead, pop on those leg bands. I'm curious what our answers are. All right, let's see what we've got. He says, motivational. I love it. Mine, one word. I usually just kind of think of these questions off the cuff, and I don't really prepare my answers ahead of time. So I'm on the same page as you guys thinking through it. I would say growth. That would be my word. I think this year has already presented a ton of growth in terms of the good, the bad, and all of it. And I'd like to continue on that path. George says empathy. I love it. That's great. All right. Anyone else who has a word that they would like to embody the rest of the year, go ahead and throw it in the chat. Instagram, you can toss up there. Zoom, you can put it. Sophia and Cindy say optimistic. I like it. No reason not to be that way. Okay. We've got our leg bands on. We have had a sip of water to hydrate. We're going to start. Oh, we got one more word. I want to see what it is. Jim says, yes to empathy off early by. Hi, Jim. Good job. All right. Let's get some heel lifts just to start to wake up, warm up the lower part of the body. And then we're going to continue with a partial calf exercise after this. So first 40 seconds. Today, we're doing externally rotated heel lifts for the calves. So angle toes out into V shape. 40 seconds in three, two, one, here we go, up and down. Nice. Making sure that we really wake up these muscles because we're gonna use them again in our workout. Awesome. Up and down. Good. There we go. We are half done. You want to challenge yourself even more, you can keep your heels off the floor the whole time. 
more like a pulsing effect. Last 10 seconds. Woo! Get that core working as well, growing even taller from the top of your head. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, second set. You can move faster, you can move slower, you can move the same pace. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. After this, we're going to get our heart rate up again, and then we'll have our secondary round of exercises involving the calves. Woo wee. <laughs> nice. And my calves get really used to doing those normal lifts. So as soon as I add that slight external rotation, I notice that it's a bit harder for me. Get those heels up. See if you can keep them up. Last 15 seconds. Good. Maybe you want to pulse it out. Shorten your range of motion. Add an extra challenge. Mm -hmm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. 30 seconds, jumping jack. Three, two, one. Here we go. Important to challenge ourselves cardiovascularly as well as muscle wise. Pay it up. There we go. Speed jack. Half done. Start your week off right. Last 10. Then we're coming into high knees and then we have ankle tap. Give me five. Four, three, two, and one. High knee, let's go. Yeah, run it up. Faster, faster, faster. Yeah. Woo, that's it. All right, half done. Keep it up, keep it up. In five, I want an all out sprint. Three, two, one, bring it home. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and angle tap. Round it out. Woo. It's been a minute since we've done it. <laughs> awesome. Get those feet up. Active hip opening. Half done. Last ten. All out. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Big breath. Whew. All right, next up, we have squat, heel lift, curtsy, lunge. All mashed up into one exercise. I go squat, lift, curtsy, lunge. Squat, up, other side, okay? So we're taking three things. We're using the whole body to make it one fluid flow and get a full lower body workout. So first 40 seconds, I'll start us out. We're going in three, two, one. We go squat, heel lift, curtsy. Come back to center, right into that squat. Heel lift, curtsy, other side. Keep it up. If you want more of a challenge, take your hands behind your head. Yeah, if you want even more of a challenge, reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Fantastic. We are half done. Nice, Sophie and Sydney, looks great. I'm optimistic about you growing even stronger this year. Beautiful. Last 10 seconds, nice staff, nice dance. Great, George, because I look good. Bonnie, awesome. Diane is doing a thing. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. So, continuing to do exactly what you just did. If you feel comfortable adding speed, add some speed. If you feel comfortable taking an arm variation, you can do that as well to make it more challenging. 40 seconds. Ready, set, here we go. Squat, heel lift, curtsy, right into it. Squat, up and over. Woo, yeah, there we go. Nice, keep going. 
Good. And making sure on that heel lift, you're really getting your heels up. That is an important part of this exercise to involve our core in this work. Half done. Yes, 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 yes. Last 10 seconds. See if you can give me two more rounds. So maybe picking up the base. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Next up, we're coming back down onto our forearms for some single leg work. We're doing four rounds. Now, one benefit of being on our forearms instead of on our hands is we can really target our glutes and without as much risk of dipping into our low back. So I want you to take these full range of motion, extend the right leg back. Now, lift it up as high as you possibly can. That is how high I want you to get your leg on this exercise. 40 seconds. Down, kick down, kick, let's go. Get that leg all the way up, down, kick, kick, yes. Get it up high, use your hamstrings, your glutes, keep your core still engaged so there's no risk of it getting into the back. Woo, half done. I know how high you can get your leg, so don't let me down. Up, up, last 10 seconds. Keep that leg really straight. Don't let your knee bend. Seven, six. We're going right to the other side. In three, two, and one. Lift that left leg as high as you possibly can. A little higher. 40 seconds. Here we go. Down. Kick. Kick. Yeah. Keep it up. Good. Now, I'm seeing a couple of bent knees. I want you to keep your legs straight the entire time. Yes. Now we are talking. Good. Use your glute. Get that leg as high as you can. Maybe even point that toe. Activate every single muscle you can. Mm -hmm. Last 10. If you can move fast, move fast. Keep it high. Get it higher. Get it higher. Yes. Good. This is our first set. We're going to take a quick rest and do one more. Three, two, and one. Rest. Go ahead and drop the knees. All right, give the hips a wiggle side to side. Right back into that first side. Extend your left leg back behind you. Lift it as high as you possibly can. That is your frame of reference. 40 seconds, here we go. Down, kick, down, kick. I want it big and powerful. And if your upper body is moving, that just means you're not controlling your core enough. Please keep it engaged. Thank you. After this, we are going to come on up and get our heart rate up again. Good. Straighten out those legs a little bit. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Then we're going right into the right leg. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Lift that right leg up. Get it as high as you can. Imagine I'm pulling on your big toe. Straighten the leg out. Last 40 seconds of this exercise. Let's go. Down. Kick. Down. Kick. Finding length through the front of the hip the whole time. And if we were in person, I would come around and pull on your toes. I've been known to do that. So imagine that's happening. Great. Oh, these look good. Yes. Keep the upper body stable. Use your glute, your core. Last 15 seconds. Big old kick. Glutes are working. We're going to come up, do our cardio, and then take a water break. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up. We've got 30 seconds jumping jack. Three, two, one. Let's go. I know, we're jumping right into it. We're going to be tired. That's okay. We're taking a break after this. Keeping that body strong and moving. Yes, way to jump into it, Pony. Awesome. Half done. Woo-wee. I'm breaking a sweat. Last 10. Light on those feet. Give me five, 
four, high knees in three, two, and one, high knees. I like to get my arms involved too. I'm imagining I'm running it out, even though I hope no one runs like this. <laughs> Whew, that's it. Half done. In five, I want all out sprint. Three, two, one. Give me everything you've got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get those ankles. Yeah. Woo. Breathing and moving. Pick it up. How done. All right. Last 10. Let's go crazy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Water break all around. Ooh, okay. For our next exercise, we get to come down onto our knees. That is not to be forsaken with an easy exercise because it requires a lot of lower body engagement. Ooh, I'm catching my breath. All right. These are called genies. And I demonstrate them from a side profile because I want us to make sure that we're not doing this and we're not doing this. I take my hands across my chest, keeping my hips pressed forward, glutes engaged. I rock back and up. And that's it. But if you think it's easy, I challenge you to go really far back without doing this or this. Keep that tuck, okay? 40 seconds. Set ourselves up. We're going in four, three, Two and one. Rock back as far as you can. Press back up. Rock back and back up. Nice. Now, I suggest taking these a little bit more slowly and seeing how far down you can get on that rock back. So, challenging the range there. Good. Woo! Keep pressing your hips forward the whole time. Yes. Last 13 seconds. Rock it back and up. Use those quads. Use those glutes. Awesome. We've got six. One more. Get really low. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your butt back to your heels. If you can, hands behind you. Lift your glutes. Take the stretch. If you can't get down, work toward getting down. All right, second set. Come on up, give those glutes a big old squeeze, press your hips forward, hands to shoulders, 40 seconds, time is rolling. Woo! Yes, and I want your knees to be parallel, so try not to let them play open to the side. Amazing. Call these genies. <laughs> Nice. Good. Slow is the name of the game here. We've been getting that heart rate up and getting it up. And now we're allowing it to slow down. For our next exercise, we're going to come back down onto our forearms in a different way than we normally do. Last 10. Get low, get low, get low. See if you can give me one more. Five, four, three. Two and one. Fantastic. All right. So, in order to make sure that our blood is still pooling, I want you to try to do this exercise on your forearm, keeping your hip lift off the, off, the, off the floor. Okay, so we still get that downward slope. I come onto my side, I lift lower. If that's too challenging, you can always come up onto your hand, do a modified side plank, and lift lower, okay? So either way, you're either resting on your hand or resting on your form. You can always drop the bottom knee as well. We've got 40 seconds. One side, we're going in three, 
two, and one. You can always root your top hand into the floor. Up, up. And this is what I said about working all the muscles in the body together to really explore one place. Nice. Great, Bonnie. Good. Mm -hmm. And whichever variation you're in, if you're on your forearm, elbows under shoulder. If you're on your hand, wrist is under shoulder. Half done. Really hard. It's hard to control the body in this way, and that's exactly why we're doing it. Awesome, Diane. Good. If you can get your hips off the floor, everybody, get your hips off the floor. Yes. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. On to the other side. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Hips up. Okay to have your top hand down or on the hip. Lift, lower. Up and down. Woo! That's it. Totally fine to be in a modified side plank as well. I'm happy with that. The goal is to get the upper body above the lower body. Half done. Nice. It's hard to hold in that forearm plank the whole time. Last 10. We're going to take a quick rest and do our second set in five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody rest. You can make your way onto hands and knees and draw some circles with the hips to release them. Hi. Nice. And move around the other way. After this exercise, we have one more for the lower body. Then we're going to do our core. So we're coming into our home stretch. As you come back through center, Either make your way over onto one side, that modified side plank, or that full forearm side plank, 40 seconds. Time is rolling up and down. And by all means, feel free to take these slow. Work through it. It is not easy stuff. Full body control. Yeah, looks great. Nice. I just love seeing everyone try. That's all I want to see. And then if you can squeeze out some reps, squeeze out some reps. Cool. Last 10 seconds. Nice. Good. Really flex that foot, drawing the toes into the shin. We have five, four, three, two, and switch. Take five seconds to make your way over onto the other side, whichever variation you're rocking today. We're going in three, two, one, up and down. Great. And after this, we get to come up to stand. Yeah, good stuff. Half done. Mm -hmm. Good. See if you can take them a little bit slower and get that leg even higher, working the muscles of the outer hips and the abductors. Last 10. Woo, give me four more. Come on, bring it home. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come on up. Circle those hips around. Release them. And move around the other way. I call our last exercise pull, pull, hit. So the way this goes is I come into a reverse lunge on my right side Heel of my back foot is lifted as low as the ground as I can go. I pull. Pull, kick. Pull, pull, kick. One thing to be mindful of, this front knee. 
does not go forward. I keep my weight shifted back so the knee is over the ankle or maybe a baby bit more. Pull, pull, kick. That's it, all right? 40 seconds, we are going. Drop, drop, and lift. Right back into it. All right, being mindful of the front knee. If you're getting the back knee down and really down towards the floor, by nature, that front knee will not shift too far forward. That's what we're looking for. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Last 15 seconds. Pull, pull, kick. Keeping your back leg as straight as you can. Nice job. Into the ground. Good. Give me one more round. We have five, four, three, two, and switch. Right into it. Step the left foot back. Time is rolling. Pull, pull, kick. Pull, pull, kick. Straight back leg. Keep moving and grooving. What are we working here? Mostly hamstrings and glutes. And you guys look wonderful doing it. Half done. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to do the other side, then we're going to do our core, and we will call it one heck of a Monday. Last 10. Get those knees even lower. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Okay. Take those legs out a bit. Move around. Maybe give me a shimmy. Back into our first side for our final lower body work of the day. Step your right foot back, left foot forward. Now, you know my rule about being in lunges. You do not have to be on a tight rope. Put your feet as wide as your heart desires. Get that back foot back even more. Now we're talking 40 seconds. Let's go. Pull, pull, kick. Pull, pull, kick. And I don't know why my go-to for this, people want to make fists, that makes me feel stable. If you want to clasp, if you want hands on hips, if you want wings, doesn't matter. Whatever makes you feel strong. Yes, nice George. Woo, there we go. Up and down. Last 10 seconds and we're going right to the left leg. Woo, give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Right foot forward, left foot back. Give yourself some space. Stagger it out. Toes the back foot. We are going. Pull, pull, kick it up. Down, down, kick. And one thing to be mindful of as you drop into that lunge, we are not pitched forward. We have a straight spine. Shoulders overhead. Yes. Sit. Mm -hmm. Half done. Get that back knee down even lower. Nice. Woo, 10 more seconds. Pull. Pull. Kick. Give me seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Feet hips distance apart. Hands to opposite shoulder. Five good morning. Straight spine, straight leg. Press those hips. Come up. Four. Three. Maybe even a little back bend. Four. Two. On this last one, we hinge and hold it. Pulse it out. Keep a bend in your back. None of this. This. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Time for core. Come on down to sit. We are doing a seated crunch. You can have your hands back behind you if you want. For an extra challenge, you can lift your hands up. We have 30 seconds of this. Then we come out. 30 seconds of flutter kicking, and then 30 seconds. It's kind of a reverse bicycle. You draw in, 
both legs are straight, then you switch. I'll walk us through all of it, okay? First 30 seconds, seated crunch in three, two, one. Out and in, here we go. And as you pull yourself in, see if you can almost find contact between thighs and core. So really narrow that gap of space. Woo! Yes, keep working. Awesome. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come down, flutter kick, 30 seconds. Get those shoulders off the floor. Yes. It's not easy, but you guys look great. If it's starting to hurt your lower back, lift your legs up higher. Awesome. We are half done. We can do a breathing, pulling the belly button the whole time. Then we're doing our reverse bicycles in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head. Knee to elbow, lengthen out. Knee to elbow, lengthen out. Take that pause of length in between. Woo, that's it. Keep rolling. If you can go through this full set without stopping, oh my goodness, you have a strong core. And if you can't, you are building a strong core half done. Nice. Give me those full two lengths of legs before you switch and really work towards finding elbow to knee contact. Last six, five, four, three, two, and knees into the chest, rest. Circle them both around one direction. Work them both around the other direction. Reaching through the knees, grab the outer edges of the ankle, shins, feet, something for a happy baby. I know this looks ridiculous, but it's such a good stretch for the hips and really can help with lower back pain. Man, as you pull your knees back to the center, rock and roll up to sit, come into that butterfly seat, grow nice and tall, take a breath in, exhale, come forward and let your back round. Now, one thing to be mindful, I know, can't we just stretch in peace? Yes, but I want us to get the maximum benefit of the stretch. Notice your spine. If it's starting to round out behind your hips, you're not doing yourself any justice. So finding a straight spine, making sure that you're coming forward. And if you can't come forward, just don't have that flexibility, keep working towards a straight back and then come down into it in time. Now, if your body is in front of your hips, you can let yourself round and hang. Give your head a shake. Yes, uh-huh. We did great work. Roll up to sit. Clasp the hands. Base of the palms presses up. Push, 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 push. Big breath in. Exhale, release the hands, bring them together. Round of applause. Nice job. Strong Monday work. I do not know what we're going to be doing tomorrow, so it's going to be a surprise. Uh, but I'll give us an idea of what we're going to be doing the rest of the week tomorrow. Of course, there'll be balance and strength and all of those things filtered in there. What a day. I'm not exactly sure yet. So good job, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Go get her. Bye.